Okay, welcome to the final video for creating a compound word game app using Thunkable. We are in the iOS version of Thunkable, so you're making um, a, an app for an iPad, and you're ready probably for another screen. So you've made one, and now you need to add a third screen um, beyond the screen two. So let's go to the plus sign, and we're going to add another screen. I'm going to collapse my screen two because I'm pretty much done with that one. And then I can add my third screen underneath it. And that's going to be screen three. Now we're going to put the same exact things on top of it that we had in screen two. So we're going to drag over three images. We're going to do all of that. Um, so you're going to do that, drag over three images. You're going to find your images. You're going to put labels in between them like you did. And I'm not actually going to go through the whole steps again because you can just watch part two if you want. Um, but what you do need to remember is back on screen two in the block section, now that we have a screen three, we need to change this to be screen three, just so that our uh, buttons navigate to the correct places. And then when you're finally done with the app, you can add as many of these screens as you want following those same steps. When we're finally done with the app, you're going to add a final screen, and I'm going to actually do that right now and pretend that my screen four is my final screen. I'm just going to add a label that says, congratulations, you did it, you're a champ. Okay, so I'm going to do congratulations, and then I'm also going to put a button there that will take me back home. So let's put a button on this screen, and I'm going to say home, and then I bet you know how to do this by now. If you go into blocks, when that button is clicked, we just navigate back to screen one. That way they can start over if they want to. All right, and there's one more thing I wanted to show you before you download the app. And that is how to make an icon for your app. So if you go up to the name of your app right here, in this spot right here, you can upload an icon. So let's say I might do the tooth. Um, that wouldn't really make sense, but just you can pick whatever picture you would like. Try to make it make sense for your app. Um, and once you do that, that will then be the icon that you see on the iPad to open up your app. And then how do you get this on the app instead of just live testing? Well, you simply click download and you do download iOS app, you will put in the email address of the person whose email is attached to the iPad you're going to be using. So that's kind of tricky, um, but just make sure that you type in the email address correctly and then click send. That email will show up in about five or 10 minutes. Uh, it will be coming from Steve Jeever, so be looking for an email from him. And then you also have to go into your settings and trust the developer for this, so that's called Rapidly. So you want to make sure that that happens too, and then you'll be able to install the app on your iPad. But other than that, um, the only other thing I would say is just go through, practice your app several times, live testing, change the settings, the sizes of the images if you need to, the background colors, all of that. And when it's done, you are ready to take it to some younger students and see if they know uh, what a compound word is. Congratulations, you guys did great.